Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the second video on the basics of channels. And if you go to our channels tab here, and if you can't see it, go to View, Studio and Channels here. And we looked last time at the top layer here, which was about the composite, which is the overall image. and the next layer here is about the layer. And to see this a little bit better, let's do a Control J here to duplicate that. I'll type on this and type top. And hit this one, call that bottom. Now then here, this always says composite. Down here, I've selected the bottom layer there, it says bottom. The top layer there, it says top. What you get in the, on the layer is very different from what you get in the composite. So the composite, if you right click on this, you've got some toggling stuff here, then uh, setting up selections and I create a spare channel. Or if I right click down here, very different set of choices. I can invert, clear, fill and create grayscale mask or again a spare channel, which again we'll talk about spare channels at another video. So what else can we do with this? So let's let's do that. If I do an invert, that literally inverts that layer itself. So you're going to get kind of strange effects here, but sometimes it's useful. And if I let's do an invert of the green and an invert of the blue, and what we've got now is a negative of the image. So if I do Control I, it inverts all the way back to the original. What you can do as well there, if I clear it, note this has gone here to black. So it effectively removed the reds. So you can do that kind of thing, Control Z to bring that back. And fill, there. Yeah, let's fill that in with the red there. So Control Z to get that back. So there's things you can do with that. Um, grayscale layer. If I put that one in, it puts another layer up here, a pixel layer, which is similar to the one here if I click just on the composite. But this is an actual layer being put in here as opposed to just showing it within this, the top layer system. So we can then use that in any way we like. In fact, really, it, it's a black and white image, so, but you can use that as masking and all sorts of things. So let's delete that. You can also get a mask if you right click here, create a mask layer. Again, you get a mask layer on top, which you can then use and drag to the appropriate place. And spare channels, I say, will do later. So let's try an interesting effect. So from here, I'm going to hit Control I to invert the top layer. And I'm going to go to the normal. Go all the way down here to reflect. You're getting an effect here that's, you can see if I zoom in, you're getting kind of odd bits of noise in this. So I'm going to add to this, and this is the trick of this, Gaussian Blur. So now I'm going to turn the radius up on this, and as I do this, those that noisy bits disappear. But what you get as the radius goes up, it looks like it's almost over sharpened. So it's got a very harsh appearance, but the whites here are burning out. So it can be an interesting effect. And if you turn the opacity down, it gets back more to something reasonable, but you don't want those pixels. So you turn it up to, to something that's, that's workable. So we get that interesting kind of effect. Notice also I've got the Gaussian Blur selected here. So down here I've only got the Blur Alpha. So the Alpha is the transparency information for that, which is the only thing in fact you get with a, a, an adjustment because it comes with a free mask. Control zero, 0 to go out. So while I'm selecting that, if I go to a paintbrush, then I'm going to paint on this mask here in black. See, I don't want this sharpening effect up in the sky. So I just paint black over that, I'll just do that quickly. So you get back to the original sky 
If you look down here, here it is. So if I right click on that, I can create masks and so on from that directly. So just from the area that I've selected and you know painted on, on here. So it's a way of extracting the mask out from an adjustment layer. One of the other things, so these things down here in the, ch in the channel are a good thing to play with when you're working with selections and so on. Anyway, that's enough of a summary of the things you can do with this layer. Next time we'll go on to this little bit down the bottom and spare channels. So thank you very much for watching.